thank you very much for inviting me to lunch today. Uh, unfortunately, I'm on a diet. The food looks wonderful. So you will excuse me if I don't partake. But uh, there are many, many hundreds of people who are eating this kind of food whether they're on a diet or not. And they live in prisons, and it's disgraceful that this kind of food is imposed upon them. The people who have come to me, and there are more than one, I've had calls from all over the state of Michigan, tell me that expiration dates on food are changed beyond their expiration so that they can keep them longer, that the dishwashers aren't sanitized and they use phony uh, devices to indicate that they've been tested when they haven't been tested. That's also true with cleaning the kitchens up. You know, everybody knows, has ever read a cookbook, that you don't put chicken, for example, on a counter because of the dangerous sal salmonella. Well, they're supposed to keep those counters clean. So that won't happen. They don't. They have a phony test procedure that they use for purposes of convincing the inspectors when they come in that they've done it when really they haven't. Uh, food falls on the floor. They pick it up, throw it in a pan. Uh, one of their supervisors told one of my clients, well, this is not a five-star restaurant. They'll never notice. There's another aspect of this that's very important. Uh, food to prisoners is a very vital commodity, and you don't mess with it. If you mess with it, there are certain unforeseen consequences. Prisoners get upset. Uh, they're capable of becoming very belligerent. These food service workers work directly with them. And they are sometimes threatened. That was the case of one of my clients, actually threatened, so that uh, corrections officers had to intervene. It's a terrible situation. Uh, Governor Snyder uh, should do more in this than just trying to protect his corporate cronies. Thank you.